everybody, I'm Lisa Fay, and today I'm going to show you a DIY on how to make these embellished dish towels. These are super easy to make, and I really think they look great when they're all finished. This video is part of my DIY Christmas crafting series here on YouTube. Please check out my other videos. I tried to make all of the gift ideas, things that are really easy to make, inexpensive, and things that people would actually want. Um, so yeah, please check out my videos. Now you might be thinking, okay, like these towels look great, but I can't draw. Well, neither can I. I actually did not draw these. I used iron on embroidery transfers and that is my hack for being able to successfully complete this project, even if you can't draw or paint that well. So using iron-on embroidery transfers makes this project into sort of a combination between like a coloring book type of deal and paint my numbers, but on fabric. You really only need a few things to do this project. The most expensive of these things are the fabric inks, the ink tents products. Those are a little bit on the expensive side, but for me, I consider them more like a long-term investment and you can use them for a lot of other different things. I have done so many projects with the ink tents items over the years and they're really one of my favorite things to use. So, um, so yeah, and you can, if you want, you can just get like a starter pack of just a couple of the pencils and those are a little bit more budget friendly. If you have a little bit more room in your budget, you can get the set of the different bricks. I mean, it goes up to, it goes way up in price range. Um, but I mean, personally, I really love the products and I think that they are fantastic and they last a long time. Um, you're also not limited to just using the iron on embroidery transfers. If you are great at drawing, if you're great at painting, oh my gosh, freehand all you want. But for those of us who really are not that gifted in that regard, this is a great way to get around that. Um, they have these iron on embroidery transfers in so many different patterns, styles. Um, you can find them at craft stores. You can also find them online. For the purposes of this video, I just did floral ones, but I've done some more in the past. Here are some other designs that I've made over the years. I did some strawberries a bit ago, and I also did some apples. And you can see that, I mean, I've used and washed these dish towels so many different times. And as long as you use the fabric medium, then you'll be fine. You can wash it and the colors stay. Um, another option is that you can use the embroidery transfers for their original purpose, which is embroidering. And I made these two towels a couple years ago and I did embroider the designs. So that is an option as well. But I do find that that's a little bit more time consuming. Um, and I really like using the paints. There's just something about it. It's, it's fun, it's different. If you check out some of my other videos, I have more examples of this same technique for em embellishing these towels, but using it on other items as well. Um, so please check out my other videos and you'll see how you can apply this technique to other items. You'll find affiliate links to the different items you'll need in the description box for this video. I'll be donating a portion of any proceeds from affiliate link sales to National Food Bank Feeding America as well as my local food bank, Second Harvest of Silicon Valley. All right, so let's get started. If you're great at drawing, that's awesome, but me personally, I'm not. So I like to use iron-on embroidery transfers. You can find all sorts of different patterns. For this example here, I used this book of flower designs. And what you wanna do is just select a few designs that catch your eye. It's easier if you have ones that aren't all that intricate and just cut them out. Cut out what you'd like to use, and then you'll need to iron them on your fabric. Here's the type of towel I use for this project. It's just 100% cotton. These are made in India. These are large kind of flour sack dish towels. I use these Ink Tents products. They come in pencil, block form, and also in a watercolor type of format and I really like using these. As you can see, they are well used and well loved and um, they really are a favorite product of mine. You can do so much with them combined with a fabric medium. 
and there's many different variations of fabric medium you can use. These are a little expensive, but they're totally worth it. So I take my ironing board and my cloth and I kind of find where the center is on there. And then I try to position, position my pattern and tape it down. You don't want to iron over the tape, but you do want the tape there so that it doesn't move when you're ironing it. These transfers are permanent and they will also bleed through. So be careful. You can see that it transferred to my ironing board. So I, once again, I find where the center is and I kind of position it a couple inches up from the bottom edge of the towel. I iron it on there. That one did not come through all that well. You want to make sure you only have one shot basically to press your transfer on there. It's hard, really hard, almost impossible to go back and try to darken up any of the lines. So you just have one shot to do it and if it moves, you are out of luck. I like to use transfers that have larger areas to color in because it really just makes my job easier when I'm going in with the paint to not have a very intricate design, to just have something that's a couple colors and really easy to do. Here I am trying to match up and I did it successfully that time because I missed a spot when I was ironing it, but it's really difficult to do that. There are many different ways that you can use the Inktense products. Here is one example. This is with the pencils and I'm just going in with a pencil, dry pencil, dry fabric, and I'm just coloring in like I would a coloring book, really. And you have to press a little bit hard because you want the color that is transferring onto the fabric be, to be deep and dark and saturated. And you really want to make sure that you have a lot on there. You do need to be a little bit careful when you're using these ink tense products because they are permanent. They are ink and they will stain fabrics. So you do have to be kind of careful. I usually wear black clothes when I'm doing this type of a project and sometimes I'll have newspapers or um, a drop cloth down or something like that. But as long as you're careful, it shouldn't be a problem. So after I am done with that, I take my fabric medium and a small brush and I go over all of the lighter colored um, areas first. And I just use this and kind of paint it on there. And when I do that, it takes it from a colored pencil type of, type of a application and it turns it into an ink paint. You wanna make sure that you have a piece of plastic or cardboard or some sort of barrier on the other side of your fabric as you do this because it will bleed through and it is permanent like I said before. So you do each color at a time. You don't want to mix colors because then it'll get muddy and we don't want that. I know some people dilute their fabric medium. For me, I like using it straight on there and I haven't had a problem with that. After I'm done with the yellow, I will switch brushes and I think I went with a smaller brush on this. I did. I went with a smaller brush and I traced over the green. And you can see it kind of changes a little bit. It's hard to pick it up on camera, but you can kind of see that it darkens a bit when you apply the fabric medium. It really is kind of magical to do it in person. It's super easy. You definitely want it to dry properly after you do all of this. Let it dry and then at the very end, after everything is dried, go back over and you can see even through the paint, you're able to see where the iron-on transfer marks are. And that's where you go in after it dries 
with your extra fine tip black Sharpie and you trace over all of those lines and it really gives it definition and makes things stand out. Here's another example I did. I decided to do a tulip drawing here and I did this one a little bit differently. I kind of was aiming to do a little bit of an accent on the sides of the tulips so I went in with the pencil first and that really didn't work too well for me. Um, I then attempted to load the brush with the fabric medium and it totally didn't work. Um, so I just ended up using the brush like a normal paintbrush. And I decided to do uh, just an orange paint application on this. So in this case I'm just taking the fabric medium and I am applying it directly to the ink tense medium that is in the palette here and it makes it into a paint and I'm able to just use my brush and just fill in the shape there. It's really easy to do. I do want to say that after all of this dries, before you go and trace everything with your Sharpie, I think it's always a good idea to go and iron it with a hot iron, a hot dry iron, no heat, no, or no steam, no water, and heat set everything. You also want to make sure that after you go over all of the lines with your Sharpie at the very end that you wash everything. Run it through the washer and the dryer. Make sure it's all nice and clean for the person you're giving it to. You also want to make sure that you wash your fabrics before you use them at the very beginning of your project. So now I'm just going back with my brush, a different brush than what I was using before for the orange, and I'm just going back with the fabric medium and painting over the green section which I used the pencil on earlier. And So I'm just painting over that with the fabric medium in order to turn it into an ink paint and make it permanent on the fabric. Now I'd like to talk about the importance of choosing an easy design unless you want to spend a lot of time and effort creating a design. Here you can see I chose a transfer that is very intricate and complex and you can see just how long it takes me to do all of these fine details and how I don't even finish this whole project. Um, there's really just a lot of painting to do in this, a lot of different colors that you need to mix, and it's definitely more involved and time consuming than the others that I showed you completed earlier. Of course, if you have the time and energy and patience and you would like to do something that's more complex like this, by all means, go ahead. But for the sake of this video, I just did not have the time or the bandwidth to complete this project. But it really just goes to show you, you can choose really any variation you want on this idea. You can make it as complex or as simple as you want. After everything has dried, make sure you remember to go over all of the transfer lines with your extra fine point black Sharpie. That will really finish things off and give it extra definition.
This finished kitchen towel can be combined with other items I have crafting tutorials for, for a great kitchen themed gift. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I really hope to see you again soon. Bye.